I could be setting myself up for a big fall today by announcing what I want to do on a video because very rarely the case does that ever kind of go to plan. But the reason I wanted to come to Hodge Close is what I'm looking for is these kind of little silver birch trees, but not like a big vista of them. I want to try and find something that's isolated, preferably up against like a, a dark rock. Um, so there's a real contrast in colours. Now, saying that's what I want and finding it is two different things. But anyway, but before I do that, I want to grab this image here of the bothy. Now I was here about 18 months ago over Christmas and there was no leaves on the trees. And I always wanted to come back, especially at autumn, grab this image because I'd really like to print this. I think this is a, a beautiful photo, this. Well, I think I'm going to have to perhaps come back in, I don't know, perhaps like an hour um, and grab this shot. It's still very dark. It's only about 10 minutes after sunrise, but it's quite windy. So if, if I want to go to say kind of ISO kind of 500, uh, the shutter speed is just too long and I'm just getting some blurred movement in some of these leaves here, where if I put it on uh, aperture priority at F11 and uh, auto ISO, that wants to give me an ISO of 5000. Uh, with a 30th of a second shot. So I will grab this image, but I also think I'll come back. I'm just worried about the crowds because I'm sure within, you know, kind of an hour and a half, this will be really busy around here. Never mind. It gives me a chance now to have a quick scout. Quite like this little one here in the in the centre, but I'm not too sure if the the rocks behind it are a little bit fussy. Um, and the only way that I could get this shot was by standing quite high, because if I go low, then I get the sky in. Now the only thing by standing high, I don't know the the, the, the separation of the leaves looked better when I was lower. just seen this here and this is a real shame if there was this rock sitting on top of it that would have been exactly what I'd have been looking for today um, it'd be nice for a few more leaves but you know I, I really like these stems now what I what I'm attempting to do might be a little bit kind of abstract but I'm gonna try and crop this one by one um, and so you are gonna lose the top and you are gonna lose the bottom, but if I can stand high enough and shoot down and try and get some of that rock in the background, this one may work, famous last words, but it may work. Well, behind me there's a, there's a big old cave and um, I don't know, I might be able to find something in there, I'm not too sure, but you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I lose a little bit of data on the memory card. Oh well, let's go. Bloody joking. Well, here we go. I'm feeling a little bit more confident now. I'm at the top of one of the quarries and it's filled up with water and there's this huge kind of dark gray rock face. And on the left hand side, there's a small tree that's just filled with bright yellow autumn colors. And on the right hand side, there's a pale green spindly tree, possibly like a fern or something like that. And I'm, I'm more than happy to actually shoot these both together, both, both trees in the same frame. Now, but trying to isolate them on their own is quite challenging. Um, because there's a, there's a load of small trees here just by the, 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 the cliff edge and even though I've tried to get in and amongst them um, I'm still not kind of really picking them out and if I can it's all handheld and as I say with such a high uh, ISO which I don't know if I've mentioned but that's on about 800 at the moment 
Um, I'm just a bit worried about kind of camera shake, but um, yeah, I'm really confident with this, or really happy, I should say. And then from here, I'm gonna try and make my way down to the actual bottom of the quarry itself and grab some images from there. This, this is the composition. Don't get too excited, but I would have loved to have got possibly a week ago, perhaps a fortnight ago. But unfortunately now, it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna take the image, but it won't work. Now, there's a, a, a tree with its autumn colors, but unfortunately, it's probably lost at least half, if not two thirds of the leaves. So I can imagine if this tree hadn't lost anything and it would have turned to them kind of like yellowy, kind of orangey colors, this would have looked amazing. Because at the back, you've got these really dark rocks that are made darker by all of the water that's kind of currently cascading through this rock here onto that wall. And the polarizer is working an absolute treat. It's taking all the glare off the rocks and still allowing that tree to kind of come through. Um, now, I, again, I'm on ISO 1000 now, so I'm really pushing the boundaries here because there's a little bit of wind coming through. So I'm going to take this image just because I can, but if this was in full bloom, so to speak, this would be an amazing image. Well, what do you think of this little bit of graffiti here? I mean, I'm not a lover of it. I'm not a lover of it down here especially. But I must admit, I quite like the colours. <laughs> anyway, I hope it's not too kind of off-putting. Anyway, right. Obviously, I'm here at the bottom uh, of, of the quarry and uh, separating these trees now is an absolute doddle. The only problem, and there's always a problem, but that really colorful yellow orangey tree, the small one, um, now I'm at it from the side, um, you're not gonna get in that kind of full glory of it. Whereas when I was at the top, it was fanned out a lot more um, and it was a lot more even. As I say, now it's from the side, <coughs> excuse me, all the, all the leaves are to the right and there's hardly anything to the left. But there is some kind of a nice curve um, in the actual very small trunk of the tree there. So that might look quite nice, but either way, so pleased I'm here. What a beautiful, beautiful place. Right, so let me talk you through the settings here. ISO 1000, oh, never shoot at ISO 1000 unless it's Aurora or something like that. Um, F8, where I suppose perhaps I could drop down a little bit, but I'm shooting on f8 and that's giving me a 30th of a second now it's still very windy so I'm not going to take this shot yet I'm just going to wait for that wind to drop um, and then get the image but I'm hoping this comes out okay with such a high ISO I really am um, but I don't think that waiting any longer is going to really help because I think this where I am is always going to be in shadow so goes nothing. Well, it's definitely time to end this video now. I've had a fantastic time at Hodge Close. I've never been down here before. I'm guessing a lot of people that are, that are watching this may have come down here, but it's the first time for me and it's absolutely breathtaking down here it really is I could spend hours and hours but I'm absolutely starving Helen's in the car bless her and uh, it's time now to get to Ambleside so if you've enjoyed this video please give me a like or leave a comment in the comment section below if you're not a subscriber please consider doing so and clicking that little bell for future videos 
but as always thank you ever so much for watching and until next week's video see ya